Snickers guaranteed to satisfy. The Kurosawa, I make mad films. Okay, I don't make films, but if I did that, I have it. Wait a minute, I, I do make films. Hey, what's up, guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and I have a quick tutorial for you guys this week. We're going to use some default effects to make some repeated elements like these. And this is just a shape layer over here that moves up and down, up and down. And that's just put into a layer with Particle Playground. By default, the cannon is on, so all you got to do is turn off particles per second, make it zero. And that'll shut that down. Then you just adjust the grid height and width to taste. I don't think the height matters in this case since we only have one particle. Just make sure neither one of these is zero and it'll emit particles for you. And close this, we're not using Layer Exploder. The only thing you're gonna open up is Layer Map right here. Set this to the layer that you wanna use and I have it right here and it's hidden. And then you wanna make sure you turn off stuff like gravity, set all the, everything that's like any sort of physics to zero. So then we set this time offset type from, I think it's relative by default, but to relative random. And then I set a time max of 0.2 seconds. This is in seconds. So I multiplied 24 frames, which is what I'm working in, by 0.2 and I get like around five. So when you build your elements, if you want them to not just like pop in, start it five frames in or whatever setting you want. If you want a second, you're gonna do 24 frames in. You want half a second, it's 12 frames in. You get the idea. And that way they'll all smoothly animate in. The only other thing you need to do is this particle radius. By default, I think it's set to two. On the first frame, leave it set to two. The next frame down, zero. That way you don't have like other particles being emitted behind it. Otherwise it'll emit a particle once per frame. That's basically it for the setup. So here's some examples. Here we have a bunch of little things popping in. Built the same way. Just have a circle pop thing here. And as you can see, this one's offset by a full second as we're starting at 24. I also have a flash built, as you can see. And if we turn that layer on, you can see it's kind of like stadium flashes. So if you want to build something like this with a little bit of randomization, you don't have to have particular stardust or anything like that. Though I would recommend those because you can get some finer control. Still, you can do some pretty cool stuff without it. Now here we have a, you know, graph or paragraphs, and these just animate in. And that's kind of cool if you want everything to be exactly the same size, but what if you don't? If you want them to actually look like paragraphs, these are definitely paragraphs. What I did was I took the same shape and I got rid of the easing and I made sure that it only moves a little bit per frame. You could even go slower if you wanted to. And then you just pre-comp everything and you can time remap it. You still see it's a little stuttery. We can probably extend this a little bit more. Then you gotta make sure you set your remapping to be about where you want it. All right. Then maybe we'll use some endless bummer. Shout out to Andrew Embry for his awesome easing library for flow. Apply that. All right, go over here. You see it comes in pretty nice. That still might be a little bit of a jump at the end. Let's get back in here real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at one frame and move these down until it's a very minuscule amount. All right, then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to adjust this. Now they're going to get a little bit more bunched up here, which I don't really mind. But if you want them to be further apart, you can just change your max random time in the particle playground effect. Oops, I had them both selected when I did the time. So let me go back here to make that zero. There you go. And now it's smooth, just like my face after Dollar Shave Club. I got you, didn't I? If I were watching this and I heard me say that, I'd be like, God, everybody is doing an ad for Dollar Shave Club. But if you guys have ever seen me, you know, I always have a beard. I don't think I've been clean shaven since I got married in 2008. And even then I should have had a beard. All right, guys, I am Joe from Workbench. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you feel like helping to support Workbench, check out patreon.com slash workbench. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great content. I swear I'll be adding some stuff to that blog soon. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.